10 minutes ago, crypto lender Genesis said that it owes creditors over $3 billion, a billion of which which was promised to Gemini, which is owned by the Winklevoss twins. Parent company of Genesis, Digital Coin Group, DCG, uh, was trying to stay out of this whole thing, but looks like they're going to get dragged into it nonetheless. It is quite the mess, and it's quite confusing. Are you confused yet? You're not the only one. Let's break down this centralized disaster so we can be ready for any uh, contagion effects, kind of similar to what was happening with FTX. Listen, Digital Coin Group is a big company. They own the the company Genesis. The, Genesis is a subsidiary of Digital Coin Group. And digi and Genesis owes Gemini, which is the Winklevoss twins, a billion dollars, whatever the number is. It's high. And then all of a sudden, Genesis lost all this money. They lost it, and they had to take a loan out from DCG to pay everybody back. And DCG's like, nah, beat it. Kind of like how GM Web3 mentioned it yesterday on uh, one of their talk shows. It's basically like you borrowing money from a friend. Your friend borrowed money from another, from someone else. And now that middle friend is broke and you can't get your money back. So it's, it's, it's a difficult situation. Um, we're going to see some crazy stuff go on here. But nonetheless, it's the contagion effects that we're worried about. Just a quick overview of what this digital uh, coin group owns and has invested in. There's a lot of stuff here. This is from their, this is from their website. You can see like they've invested in Etherscan. They got all of these trading exchanges, Coinbase. Uh, I mean, there's a ton of stuff. I'll link this stuff in the comments. But what does that mean for if, if all of a sudden this whole thing goes to bankruptcy, all these companies are having issues? Well, we're going to try to jump into that a little bit here in, in a bit, uh, but we're going to go over a couple things first. So you can kind of think of it like this. So this say number one right here, this is Gem uh, Genesis. Number two here is Gemini. How the hell do we do this? Yeah, right here. Um, and then the owner of, of, of number one is, is DCG. So uh, Genesis has been lending money out they're a crypto lender and they basically have uh three billion dollars owed to creditors you can see that kind of right here they have creditors to three billion um but they don't have any money number one doesn't have any money so the money stopped number twos are looking for all their money inc that's including gemini so it's three billion dollars and then dcg up here they own number one and they're just like not too bad but new the new news is saying that as part of fundraising efforts, DCG is reportedly looking at selling some of its venture capital portfolio worth around $500 million to start paying back some debts. Who knows what that means? You can see number three here. So this is going to stay as, uh, as DCG. DCG is also the parent company of Coindesk. And its portfolio also includes crypto exchanges such as Coinbase, Kraken, and Blockchain.com, and even old FTX. DCG CEO Barry Silbert, he's uh, he's been publicly called out by the one of the Winklevoss twins the other day, and I put a video, I did a video on this one as well, saying that he needs to be ousted and he's not paying back his debts and he's not uh, answering questions in in proper time. So as we all know, the company Three AC, so that was back in the FT, in the uh, in the previous bank set of bankruptcies that happened. Uh, um, Genesis, so the company. Uh, he le they lent $1.3 billion of assets to 3AC, and 3AC is now bankrupt. Prior to their bankruptcy in 2022, and after the collateral was liquidated, indicated that they were left with a loss of $1.2 billion. Brutal. And that was stated by the Winklevoss twins. Uh, this is the Winklevoss twins' open letter to the CEO of DCG. Kind of goes over everything. I'll post that in the comments. There's a little bit of a spat going on here. Barry Silbert, uh, CEO of DCG. It's funny how you just see the battle of the billionaires. Gemini co-founder saying that the exchange and its 340,000 earn users have been defrauded by the lender Genesis. Passing the blame around. I think that's what? This one? That's what it looks like. Oh, not me. Not me. Oh, it's you. It's funny. They just kind of battle saying uh, this is all a desperate publicity stunt. Come on. I think this is an important chart too, right? So this is DCG, the parent company of uh, Genesis. They own 30% um, of Genesis and they got Grayscale. So if Genesis goes under, DCG takes a big hit. And then Grayscale is a company that has a gajillion, bajillion dollars in Bitcoin. They have their own GBTC coin. Um, they're saying that th that GPTC coin could get dumped to start paying back some creditors. If that happens, the price of Bitcoin is going to fall. We might see some bigger contagion events. You know, you think of like 3AC or FTX when everything just collapses and 
everything fell. Every single price of every coin fell. Could send us back a couple years again as another Black Swan event. So that's the thing to be worried about. So it's good to it's good to stay. Um, it's good to stay, I guess, up to date with what's going on and try to make sure we don't fucking hit this stupid stuff again. Listen, there's a whole bunch of sketchy stuff that was going on. Um, you can see Genesis here, uh, funding marketing. They created GPTC, went to 3AC. They borrowed, they pledged. The Grayscale's down here. This, this whole thing's a mess. You know, you just look at it and you're just kind of like, oh my God, what is going on? But it's real messy and this is kind of what's been happening. Crypto is the wild, wild west and it still is. It's unregulated. All this stuff goes on. People are just pumping evaluations making new coins like ftt they made a new coin and all of a sudden it's like a three billion dollar evaluation or whatever it was and boom you go three billion dollars and you as an asset it's like nah it's not liquid though man like so you got to watch out for some of these things right it's it's tough this article is really good too i'm not going to dive into it but basically the tldr is it says dcg and 3ac were engaged in some kind of scheme to extract value from the gpc gptc uh premium which, which provided massive leverage for 3AC. This article article goes through all the different uh, finance reports for the companies. It's crazy, man. And that's where this came from. So if you want a little bit of a of kind of a description of where this, how this works, you can see this in here. It's crazy. But this is the one that really gets me. The customers faced, when they, the user acknowledged in yellow here, in writing that their assets in the urn, in the Gemini urn product, faced risk of total loss. They say that they're, all the customers are blaming the wrong parties. That's bullshit, man. Just because you mismanage your money, to uh, or you trusted a company that mismanaged their money that has a whole bunch of shit going on, doesn't mean that it's right that you just say, oh yeah, it's fine. Everybody just, uh, you, you, you said that, you agreed. You acknowledge that you can risk everything. It's fucking bullshit. Listen, I don't have any money in any of these centralized exchanges or in lending groups or nothing like that. I do feel for the people that are losing money. There's a lot of money out there and it makes a lot of people that not want to come back to crypto. It's bad for the ecosystem and it's bad for it's, it's bad for everything, man. Unfortunately, we're going to keep kind of saying so we're going to keep kind of seeing some of this stuff. Um, you just got to be aware of it. It's the, the, the best defense is a good, the best offense is a good defense. So playing defense here, I think is gathering the information and making intelligent decisions with your money based on that information that you gathered. Um, that's, that's really what we're seeing. Uh, hopefully if you guys have any comments, put them in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on some of this. Uh, if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button, really appreciate it. it helps the channel out quite a bit. Um, and we'll see you again here uh, in another in another couple days.